sorry viewers for the late upload of this topic it becomes late due to the collection of the data and analysis of the points this video have many key features of the new policy but i am mainly discussing those points which are important in my opinion rest are given in the video but i am skipping the analysis of those points so viewers you all know that july 29 the union cabinet approved the national education policy 2020 on wednesday so our first point is that this is the first education policy of the 21st century and replaces the 34 year national policy on national education policy 1986 in p the new policy aims for universalization of education from preschool to secondary level with 100% gross enrollment ratio in school education by 2030 and aims to raise ger in higher education to 50% by 2025 so this is a great initiative taken by the central government now the next point is NEP 2020 will bring two crore out of school children back into the mainstream. So this is a real big challenge taken by the government. Now we all know about the black money return theory of the government. I was highly expecting the return of the black money, and it will be credited to the poor farmers directly to their bank account. Was promised by our respected PM. Now ignore those theory or promises. let it be but i am really looking forward to this point now in the next point the 10 plus 2 structure of school curriculum is to be replaced by 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 curricular structure corresponding to the ages 3 to 8 8 to 11 and 11 to 14 and 14 to 18 years respectively it will include 12 years of schooling and 3 years of anganwadi and preschooling now i will not make any comment on this particular point because it needs proper result to compare with the previous one now on the next point all students will take school examination in grade 3 5 and 8 which will be conducted by the appropriate authority board exams for grade 10 and 12 will be continued but redesigned with holistic development as the aim so now there is a propaganda that class 10 and 12 exams and that means board exam will become valueless but central government doesn't make any such comments so that is a fake propaganda and the central government also mentioned that a new national assessment center parak that is named as performance assessment review and analysis of knowledge for holistic development will be set up as a standard setting body for class 10 and 12 on the next point it says that a common national professional standards for teachers that is npst will be developed by the national council for teacher education by 2020 in consultation with ncert scrts teachers and expert organizations from across levels and regions there are some more points i am skipping the analysis of those point you can watch in the video now on the second point they said that by 2030 the minimum degree qualification for teaching will be a four year integrated bed degree now that's a good news for those students who are willing to join in the field of in the field of teaching and they don't have to pursue the two year bed degree program for this particular point now on the last page the first point saying that stand alone technical universities health science universities legal and agricultural universities etc will aim to become multidisciplinary institution now this is a real good news the policy also aims to achieve 100% youth and adult literacy now this is a great step taken by the policy and on the last point they saying that the center and the states will work together to increase the public investment in education sector to reach 6% of gdp at the rdst 
Now this is a great initiative taken by this policy. Currently the GDP for education is standing at 1.7% only. So let's hope for the best.